everybody. This is Miss Tammy. I am from the Midpoint Trenton branch and I do the teen programming and I'm here to introduce some books to you that you might like. I call this my book recommendations called Once Upon a Time Reimagined. This one is really good. It is called Stepsister. It is called Don't Just Fracture the Fairy Tale, Shatter It. And you can see by the cover, it's a differently darker Grimm. It is based on the Grimm version of the stepsisters. And it follows Isabel, who is the younger stepsister. And Isabel should be blissfully happy. She's about to win the handsome prince. Except Isabel isn't the beautiful girl who lost the glass slipper and captured the prince's heart. She's the ugly stepsister who cut off her toes to fit into Cinderella's shoe, which is now filling with blood. When the prince discovers Isabel's deception, she's turned away in shame. It's no more than she deserves. She cut away pieces of herself in order to become pretty, sweet, more like Cinderella. But that only made her mean, jealous, and hollow. Now she has a chance to alter her destiny and prove what ugly stepsisters have always known. It takes more than heartache to break a girl. Evoking the darker original version of the Cinderella story, Stepsister shows us that ugly is in the eye of the beholder and uses Jennifer Donnelly's trademark wit and wisdom to send an overlooked character on a journey toward empowerment, redemption, and a new definition of beauty. This book got me at the dedication because it says to everyone who's ever felt that they're not enough. And what Isabel's story has is she's got to find the missing pieces of her heart. And it's a battle between Fate, who's portrayed as an old crone making maps of people's lives, and Chance, who is personified by the flamboyant Marquis de la Chance. And he travels with like a retinue of odd characters. And in the middle you have the fairy godmother, Queen Tannehill, who comes to Isabella and helps her try to figure out what the missing pieces of her heart are. In the meantime, you have the empowerment of a girl who has been pushed to be beautiful by her domineering mother, and she had fallen in love with the stable boy, Felix. And you'll find out if she can find those pieces of her heart in this. It's highly recommended, and Cinderella does play a part, but it's much different than Cinderella you know. So give Stepsister a chance. And then, next, these are kind of my fun books. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the Twisted Tales that Disney has put up. This one is called Conceal, Don't Feel. It's what if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? So it's a revisit of Frozen. It's almost if you like fan fiction, it's kind of like somebody's take on a different story. And Basically, what happened is when their children, Anna and Elsa, are separated when the accident happens that Elsa's magic strikes Anna. And as, along the way, you meet Kristoff and Sven, you meet Hans and his dastardly ally, the Duke of Weaselton, Wesselton, but not sounds like Weaselton, and you find out Anna's life without Elsa and Elsa's life without Anna. And it's very... It's a very good way to reimagine the Frozen story and the author does use a couple of the song lines in it but it it's like it's a beautiful story and at the heart of it is the sisterly bond of love which as my favorite character from Once Upon a Time once said the sisterly bond is worth its weight in magic so check this out and I also will be providing a list of my books that I'm trying to read this summer. I am working on Mirror Mirror right now, which is what if the evil queen poisoned the prince? So stop by and check out some recommendations and thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.